Okay. So now, okay. <laughs> Came on. You know, usually the stuff that you do, it'll just slide out. But okay, today it wants to not come out. But okay. I am coming today. We're just going to do, this is from our girl, Martha. You know, I love Martha Stewart. She be making some really, really good dishes. And I could just watch Martha all day. So I started out with the cans of the um, apple topping or filling and topping. I'm just getting it into a bowl because I'm going to add a couple of other things to it and then get it mixed in. Oh yeah, they was really being stubborn today. Okay. And next, I'm gonna get a paper towel so I can wipe my hands. Next, I'm just gonna be coming in with a little bit of vanilla. Do not get us for the imitation vanilla. I'm gonna go and get us some real vanilla because I know that is probably a peeve of real bakers. My mom would probably die if we <laughs> was using some um, imitation vanilla. Nah, she gonna just go ahead and go and buy the real vanilla. But remember when vanilla had got up to like $30 a bottle? It was ridiculous. This was like maybe when COVID first started. Um, for some reason, I don't know what happened with the vanilla beans, but everything had went up. The vanilla was like $30 a bottle. Um, so a lot of people were probably using some imitation vanilla at that point. Now I'm just coming in probably with about mm, a half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm only adding that because I noticed that the um, apples in the can are really, really bland. They are not sweet at all. So if you're using this and you're just thinking that you can just use this with no sugar, you're probably going to be disappointed because it is kind of bland. So I just went ahead and decided to add a little bit of sugar to it and take it from there. Now, if you're not a fan of brown sugar and you just want to use regular white sugar, that is absolutely fine. But I actually like the... um brown sugar because it actually gives it more of a caramely buttery flavor so brown sugar will always be my choice as far as the sugar when I'm cooking so I'm gonna go ahead and get this moved over and next just come in with my pan and next to my pan I'm going to be adding I'm using the one cup and I have some flour the one that's um, already, excuse me, the one that's already um, self-rising flour so you don't have to really add nothing else to it. So I'm gonna come in with that. But you know what I'm gonna do first because I noticed the last time I added my flour first, the mix was lumpy. So I'm gonna come in with the liquids first. So that is one stick of butter. And then next I'm coming in with some milk. This is a 2%, but if you don't care for 2%, you do not have to use it. And I'm coming in with a cup. So it's just a cup, a cup of milk. And it's the 2% if you don't care for 2% or if you like almond milk or anything else like that. You know, my suggestion is always use what you know that you and your family likes. So then now I'm going to come in with the flour. Like I said, the last time I messed my stuff up coming, you know, I didn't um, pour it properly it was like, oh man, this is like jacked up. Is this supposed to <laughs> look like this? So I said, oh, I think what I did, I think I had added the flour first and then the liquid. And for some reason, it just seemed like it was just super clumpy. So I'm like, no, I'm not doing that today. Messing this up. So I'm just going to get this mixed up 
And while you're doing all of this, you can just be going ahead and preheating your oven. Next to this, I'm going to come in once again with the brown sugar and it's a cup of brown sugar. I know I'm looking like, I know I'm missing something because this mix don't look right. <laughs> so I'm like, I know I'm missing something. But like I said, the recipe calls for just sugar. If you don't like brown sugar, like I said, I'm going to tell you use what sugar you like. Some people like that. What is it? A turbinado um, sugar, you know, whatever you have at home, go ahead. I'm going to try to not let that dump in there. I'm glad I kind of was like, why does this look like it's so thick? Yeah, because you haven't added all the ingredients yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up. Like I said, once you're doing all of this, you can kind of go ahead and get the oven preheated. If I'm not mistaken, Ryan, what is this supposed to be cooking at? 350 for like 40, 50 minutes. Okay. So there you have it. 350 for like 40, 50 minutes. He has fallen in love with Martha. I think Martha has a stalker uh -oh. now. Because <laughs> he hey, we're has. Gonna, we're going to go to her restaurant too. He is just in love with Martha. That's the Paris. Oh. Yeah, we had a nice little restaurant. Oh, we're going to have to. Let's we're, do that. We're gonna go. No, we're going to. Yeah. That would. Yeah. Yes. Field trip. We yeah. will definitely go there and got some, well, I'll show you a video. Got then we, some maybe we can show you guys some things from the restaurant. Yeah. Um, cause I love Martha. Martha be making some good stuff. My mom was just talking about her the other day and she was like, remember the first video that we ever looked at Martha? And I do. It was Thanksgiving. Martha covered a turkey in phyllo dough. I'm like, oh, Martha is off the hook. <laughs> like, who is covering a turkey in dough and baking it and it still comes out? Mm -mm, I already did the up. It still comes out beautiful and looking like it's supposed to look. Like, and it was done. I was like, oh, Martha gets down. So, yes, we will be going to the Martha restaurant. And yes, we will tell you about our field trip and tell you how we liked it, tell you what we got. So I think that'd be nice. Pictures. Yes, everything. Now I'm just coming and I'm placing the apple slices because I didn't want to just dump the apples in there in the um like in the gel that it's in because I didn't know if it would make it too heavy because I think what's supposed to happen with this dough is I think that it's supposed to actually cook up and over the fruit. So I was a little bit afraid of just putting the, um, the apples in the jelly, you know, in the filling. And I'm like, man, it might make the, um, it might make the dough not well, the mixture not cook up right if the fruit piece is too heavy. So I'm going to just do it like this. And we're just going to hope for the best and hope that it does actually still bake up over the apple slices. I think I was being a little bit lazy today. I didn't want to chop up apples so I'm like, nope, I'm going to just use some apple filling. But we'll see how this comes out because then this will be another variation. I'll just let that sit like that. I'm not going to try to turn it. Another variation to Martha's recipe. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we have tried this with peach. Um, I think some real apple slices. Um, some banana what else did um blueberries raspberries okay so pecan, like i said just a pecan one. oh really yesterday angel did oh yeah. how did that one come out it was good okay was, yeah. i told you yeah, no, she yeah. has a stalker so <laughs> he is doing all of her variations of 
this particular um, dessert. I will not be surprised if you do not see any more Martha um, recipes because I think he's going to go look and find some other stuff that we can make. But I will make some Martha recipes. Martha recipes, her stuff be looking so um, good. It's like, okay, I could try her stuff. Absolutely. So I think that's enough apples. I'll try to fill in a little spaces. That looks good. Okay, then we're good to go. Next, I'm just gonna come over this. I had just some regular white sugar and some cinnamon that I had mixed together. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on the top. Cause I think this gives it like a little bit of a crust. So I'm gonna go over it with this. And then I'm gonna show you guys something else that I do, but don't talk about me, but you'll thank me. Cause I did put this up here for a reason. This is some pink salt. Every time I bake something, I cannot figure out what's missing. It's missing some salt. Angel added some too. He did? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, it's like, you be saying like, oof, like every time, like these last couple of weeks, I have cooked something, baked something, and I will say something, what, ugh. Like, I don't know, I can't put my, I said, oh, I forgot to put salt on it. And your um, desserts, especially like flour-based stuff, it does, it needs to be seasoned. And I'm not saying just come in like you season in a steak or something like that, <laughs> just lightly sprinkle some salt on it and you'll you'll thank me later because you'll notice a very big difference i'm gonna use all of this because then all we would have just ended up doing was throwing it away and i don't want to throw it away so i'm just going to go ahead and use all of it there you go finished product i'm gonna go ahead and get this in the oven at 350 for like 40 minutes so I will see you in a minute. Okay, guys, we just pulled this out the oven and it looks absolutely delicious. This really came out good. I am really pleased with the way that it came out. I was a little bit scared about the apples. I didn't know if they were going to be too heavy and make it to where the um, bottom would rise to the top. But it actually did and it came out really good. The top is still a little bit soft, but it looks super brown. So I went ahead and took it out the oven. So I am going to go ahead and cut a piece and we will see what this looks like. Okay, Martha. Let's see what you're doing. And sometimes, you know, when we cut into the stuff, it still is really hot. So I think that's why sometimes it'll come out the way that it does you know it'll kind of fall apart but that's okay we're just gonna eat it anyway <laughs> so it really doesn't matter um i usually like the i like the edges of stuff so my mom she always saves me like the corners of something if she makes something i just eat the corners of it I'm just gonna, I have a little bit of vanilla ice cream. I'm just gonna be really extra today and try to scoop out some. It was in the freezer, so it's still really hard. Oh, that's going to be yummy. Look, yummy for my tummy and no, that you don't have no business eating that, but it's okay. I don't eat ice cream like that. I'm not one of those people. Ice cream will be at my house forever i'm really gonna be extra and just hit it with a little bit of caramel syrup now you guys cannot tell me that that doesn't look good because it does it looks really really good i'm gonna taste a little piece of this and see what it's doing oh that looks good look get me a good little corner 
piece that's with the crest and a piece of apple. So let's see what Martha's doing. Martha's Vineyard. Oh, that's good. The caramel does make it, excuse me, a little bit sweet, but that's good. Nice little quick, simple dessert. And you could, you know what that reminds me of with the apples in the can? You know the McDonald's apple pies? Sure. How it has a little apple bits in there? That's what the apples taste like. <laughs> so, like that's just like I guess probably like a childhood memory like mm. or people that's really really old because I'm really about to give my age now you know the TV dinners back in the day used to come with a dessert yes. in it and it came with like a little pie that's what that almost reminds me of like with the apples because it used to be an apple like an apple pie or something like that but get into it Martha came through as she usually does. So this variation is actually the apple one. Like I said, we have tried almost all of the other fruits just to see how they bake up. And this really did bake up good. And it's really quick and easy. You can use stuff that you have at home. Like say you have a couple of Granny Smith apples that you're just trying to get rid of. You can make this real quick. Because it's a cup of sugar, cup of flour, cup of milk, one stick of butter. Bam. You're done. You'll thank me later. So until next time, bye.